Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Jackson, Wyoming, America. Big mountains, big sky, and this week, very big cars. I'm out here for the global launch, the first drive of the all new Rolls Royce Cullinan. I've given you guys a preview of this car a few months ago. Its presence is astounding, but I've started to see a few specs around about here. This one on show right here. I'll show you around briefly, uh, but I'm out here for a fair few days. And uh, as with previous um, Rolls Royce events, the lifestyle element of these launches is huge. The stuff that is lined up, I'm so excited to take you along for the ride. These guys go so big. Because Rolls Royce don't launch cars every day of the week, they are big, momentous events. And uh, to do these cars justice, their events are also on such a monumental scale. I can't think of a place more fitting than Jackson, Wyoming, than to launch this car. Everything, the scale is truly next level, not dissimilar from the car itself. Itself. But today I'm going to be going horseback riding through the wild country and we're going to be doing it in the incredibly plush surroundings of the Amangani Hotel which is at the top of this mountain range just overlooking Jackson. So without further ado let's take a look around and then we're going to go trekking on horses. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. Incidentally you guys asked for more lifestyle. Well here we go. This hotel is incredible. So just before I landed uh, one of the guys from Rolls Royce sent me a video of wild moose roaming through this lake right here. Now that might not seem out of character for just Wyoming in general but these buildings here they're your apartments that you stay in when you stay at this hotel. So you can maybe open your balcony one morning and just so happen to casually see a moose roaming around. It's, it's so abstract and the place is gorgeous. It's all wooden and warm and the views are incredible. There's massive rolling mountains all around us. It's proper big sky country and we're surrounded by the latest greatest Rolls Royce. So we're here for the global launch which means there are multiple specs of cars. Uh, I can't show them all to you now but there's some here which I shall share with you briefly. But tomorrow is the first drive uh, and we're on the first wave which means that the guys on this wave get to drive the Cullinan for the first time ever in the world, which is going to be such an honor. So here they are. Check out some of these specs. So here we are. Now this is the first time that I have seen in person a Cullinan in a different spec other than the sort of maroon colored car that I filmed on the launch event. Now this is actually a pearlescent white. It's got signature pinstriping down the side of the car. And these are the American spec, hence having reflectors on the outside of the car. And if we move down here, we have yet one more spec. I think this is quite a spec dependent car. Obviously, aesthetics are very subjective. But the more I see these cars in different shades, the more it grows on me. And this is actually the very first time that I have seen a Cullinan rolling in real life. Let me tell you something. It's a majestic creature. <laughs> it looks amazing on the road. I'm so excited to bring you this content. So amazingly, today isn't really about the car at all, but today is very much about immersing you in Wyoming itself. So I'm going to show you around this hotel a little bit, and then, I never thought I'd say this, but we're about to hop on a horse. <laughs> this is it for me. I might as well go home. This is the spec. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's probably the most impractical. This is basically a pure white leather. Interestingly, and I'm not sure if this is just for display purposes or not, look at this. They have this additional topper that goes on top of your seat. Now, if you're familiar with light interiors, basically they are a nightmare for getting jean stain. Now, quality leather, jean stain does wipe off, but I really like that insert. Like, that's a really nice touch, just to keep the original seat clean. You've got an example here with the extending leg support there. But my favorite feature is the open pore wood. Against this white, it is gorgeous. Now, okay, the turquoise insert might be a somewhat of an acquired taste, but I think on this, it pulls it together. This interior is so special. It just draws you inside, particularly because the outside is quite a dark color. The inside's like a, like a glowing orb that draws you in. 
I love the exposed wood. It's got such a gorgeous feel about it. Wow. Now, I won't be going too much into the car because we are driving it properly tomorrow. I just wanted to share that with you. That, that's a special interior. I gotta tell you, I tell you what, this is, watch this. Lazy door button. That's gotta be one of the coolest features on Rolls Royces. This is what I'm talking about. We're getting chauffeured to all the way to go horse riding. What do you think about this, man? Beautiful, beautiful. How excited are you? Very excited. You might have just sat on my steps and it's pass it over here. <laughs> so earlier on, we went out and we bought ourselves some proper because <laughs> let's face it, there's only a few uh, times of the year that you're going to be able to legitimately get away with rocking these bad boys. What do you think about this? Dude, you do realize we're about to go horse riding in very excited, Wyoming very excited. wearing Stetsons, man. Yeah. It doesn't get much it's cooler. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is Terence from Rolls Royce. Hello, guys. How's it going, man? I'm really happy. Pretty good. I'm very excited. Would you believe it that we both bought these Stetsons about two hours ago? We um, did. I look funny in mine. You look like you live here. How have you managed that, man? Um, I've been here for about a week filming. And so you're well integrated. Car, so yeah. Yeah. When was the last time you rode a horse, man? Uh, about two years ago. Ah, you're ahead of the game. Yeah. I l last rode a horse when I was 12. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm hearing that uh, we got our fellow colleague here trying to bed himself in. <laughs> he looks great. And let's hope I don't look as uncomfortable as he does. <laughs> he looks lovely. Uh, this is just experiencing Wyoming. Just, you oh, know, I getting guess. out there, seeing the amazing landscape. Yeah. Uh, we're in a Jackson Hole, so the valley yeah. between the Grand Teton Mountains. It's, and it's so just, stunning. It's just incredible. It's, it's like amazing. cowboy territory. Yeah, it's incredible. Absolutely stunning. And now we look the part. We do. This so, is it. And I'm, in a minute, I'm sure we're going to smell the part too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is rough and ready right now. I mean, this car game has taken me to some incredible places, but never have I taken horsepower quite so literally. Comparison, but I'm kind of strangely likening this to the time that I took mini hot rods around Budapest. Now, hear me out, I know it's a very different experience, but it's one of the most incredible ways of discovering an area. I mean, the views I'm seeing right now are absolutely breathtaking. I feel like I'm on a, a Western film set, it's just incredible. We've got my horse, Nez. This is Nez. He's chilling. He likes to eat the odd leaf and branch down here on the floor. I'm, I'm not supposed to let him do that, but I feel like rewarding him a little bit. We're here in the autumn and the way that the colors on the trees, like it's just this iridescent spectrum of orange and yellow and green. It's one of the most beautiful places I have ever been to. I mean, this is, this is exactly why doing things like this is so special because you get to see incredible environments. I'm not sure how well the camera is doing it picking this up, but there is layers of color which eventually meet the blue of the sky but it goes down in different hues of orange and yellow <laughs> while I'm on the back of this horse following some dudes through the trees. I mean, in what world would I have ever found myself in a location like this? It's, it's, it's really, really special. So 
it turns out some serious players like to have a holiday ranch up, up here. <laughs> Apparently Harrison Ford has a place around here, Sandra Bullock, I believe Leonardo DiCaprio has a place around here, and believe it or not, Kanye decided to use Wyoming for a recent launch party. I mean, it's crazy, you wouldn't think it, but when you start seeing houses like this over your shoulder, you kind of you kinda can see why. It's basically incredible. And like super private too. Oh man, that was so good. But my legs are absolutely killing me. I'm walking like a geriatric penguin. <laughs> There's some muscles I have not used in there for a long time. Um, so weird seeing me in this Stetson. Let me just say that just for the time being. Man, that was so good. I know it was pretty steady and like chilled, but that's, what, that's kind of what you wanted. But the views, the scenery, all I wanted to do was just absorb those colors. Chill with my horse, man. Ned's my horse. He's my bro. That guy was so chilled and so relaxed. I mean, I haven't, I, I rode a horse, I think I was 12 the last time I rode a horse. So uh, yeah, to be back on one in this incredible environment and like Wyoming as well. It's like the authentic experience. God knows what my legs are going to feel like tomorrow. Oh, I'm feeling real stiff already, but worth every ounce of that what a fantastic experience anyway as if uh, it couldn't get any better we're now about to hop into the phantom 8 and uh, hop back to our incredible hotel thank you sir oh man oh it's nice to get in the back of here i tell you as much as i enjoyed oh my legs are actually shaking bro i know they are actually that shaking was, yeah. <sighs> thank you dude that was so special i know i you? really really thoroughly enjoyed that it was amazing i know <sighs> Fuck it, this thing's pretty special too. This isn't cool, this is Yeah. Cool. Well, last time I was in a in an eight was on the launch. In Switzerland. In Switzerland. Top, top of, uh, oh, over a year ago now. Past, yeah. Yeah. Sustain, and when we got up there it was that snowing was, and was but tomorrow I might arguably be even more excited for. Something about this car, right? Do you know the color nine's like so much um, anticipation around it. A lot of off-roading. A lot of off-roading. Off the car is um, exceptional off-road, so we're yeah. excited to show you guys. Amazing, man. Um, we're going to go to um, Snow King, which is a, a really, really steep ski resort. And they have some mm -hmm. of the steep, steepest slopes in the whole of the US. Wow. And we're going to basically drive up that through some really twi tight, twisty bends. Wow. And the views are spectacular. The drive is a bit scary. Amazing. And, Dude, uh, and wait, you're going to you're going to be fully experiencing the Cullinan off-road capability. And it's it, it, what's hilarious about the Cullinan is that it feels like a Phantom when you're driving it. It's just effortless. Yeah. It, it is a magic carpet ride experience yeah. with Rolls-Royce. But the when you're outside and you see the car doing it, like how is it How's so doing easy? That? Yeah. It's just Majestic. so relaxing. <laughs> sure. But the gradient's like this. I mean, to drive this region of the world in, yeah. in, a, in a proper SUV is just so cool. It's going to be amazing. And there's amazing landscapes. And tomorrow we're going to go through woods and a bit of mud, gravel, dusty tracks, depending yeah. on the weather. It could be, you know, rainy. We yeah. rain yesterday. Um, we're having snow on Friday. So it oh, is man. so changeable. Yeah, yeah. And then also all the colours of autumn here at the moment, because in the next couple at of weeks, the, minute, the leaves are all going to go. At the minute, it's postcard stuff. It's postcard oh, no. beautiful, you know. Um, I mean, you see these these leaves on photographs and you think that that's been enhanced but here it's like all of the leaves leaves are like led Colors backlit so it's amazing yeah. Yeah. right then let's go inside and see who's here all right. okay super quick change into my smarts what happens now is a full-on debrief and presentation about the color now so i can absorb it and present it to you guys tomorrow when i go on that incredibly exciting drive that terence was just running us through seriously looking forward to this the horseback riding was amazing my legs are already aching uh, as i mentioned god knows what that's going to feel like tomorrow but it sounds like thanks to a magic carpet ride i'm going to be whisked along my derriere on some plush leather as i make my way through what looks to be some of the most incredible scenery that I've I've ever had the honor to experience so Please be sure to subscribe also if you didn't catch the video before this uh, go on to my channel go Next to the subscription button, there's a little bell. If you press that, you'll actually get the alerts of new content going live. I know a lot of you haven't been getting it. That's why. So hit the bell and you'll get the latest updates. The next few days are going to be very, very special and I would hate for you to miss it. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to go have to uh, wine and dine and take on board lots of stats and data about this wonderful car. And I shall relay it to you in the coming days. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time.
Ciao.